Well, hello, friends. Thanks for joining me today. Let's see who our special guest is. Oh, it's Amy. Oh, what an exciting day we're going to have. And I have my little friend, Rabbit. Open your mouth and show what's inside. That's the word rabbit and an uppercase R and a lowercase R. And remember, R makes a R sound like Ryan and Ronan. All right, well, let's start our day. Let's do the Pledge of Allegiance. Remember, use your right hand, it goes across your heart. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. I will be respectful, I will be responsible, I will be a problem solver, I will be an achiever, I will be peaceful, and I will follow Christ in all that I say and do. Now here's something we haven't done in a while. Let's sing our Grand Ole Flag song. I hope you remember the hand motions. All right, let's go right into calendar. Yippee! It's March 2020. Let's make a calendar. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Friday, Saturday. And our day of the week today begins with the letter M. Mmm, Monday. Great job! Today is Monday, March 30th, 2020. Wow, we're really getting far along on our calendar. One more day of March, and then it's going to be January, February, March, April. All right, I'm gonna slide Monday, Monday over. So we have a lot of counting to do. Let's start at number one. I hope you're all counting with me. It's important to count every day. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Let's slide the 30 30th. over. Oh, now we're in a great 30s. job. 30s. So let's make the number 30. This is how we make a three. Around the tree, around the tree. That's the way to make a three and a zero. A three and a zero makes 30. All right. Well, I'm still gonna put a birthday cake on the 28th, Lily's birthday. And let's pick this. So we have a memory of snow because I haven't seen snow in a while. Lots of rain. Goodbye. All right, it's time for months of the year. 
the months of the year. The months of the year. January, February, March, and April, May, and June, July, and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. January, February, March, and April, May, and June, July, and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. Okay. And also, it's Monday, so we get to do the Today is Monday song. Today is Monday. Today is Monday. Today is Monday. Today is Monday. Monday string means all your hungry children. Come and eat it up. Today is Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. Tuesday spaghetti. Monday string beans. All your hungry children, come and eat it up. Today is Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. Wednesday soup. Tuesday spaghetti. Monday string beans. All your hungry children, come and eat it up. Today is Thursday. Today is Thursday. Okay, well, I'm going to be calling up Amy to help us with the alphabet. Pick a wand, Amy. She's going for the blue, and oh, I forgot to do it again. Let's say hi to our friend Lily, and now we got to go back. Oh, Mrs. Hamilton. So Gavin was supposed to help with the calendar today, and Caleb was supposed to help with the months of the year. All right, can you point? to the letter, the sound it makes, and the picture it begins with. A, A, apple, B, B, ball, C, C, cat, D, D, dog, E, A, elephant, F, fish, G, G, goat, H, hat, I, I, igloo, J, J, jar, K, K, Kangaroo, L, lion, M, mouse, and nut, O, A, octopus, P, P, pig, Q, qu queen, a rabbit, a sun, T, t turtle, U, a uh, umbrella, V, B, vest, W, w walrus, X, x, x ray, Y, yo, yo, and Z, zebra. Good job. All right. Well, let's do our season song. I'll have, say hi to Ronan. Hi, Ronan. And we are going to do our season song. Remember, we're going to touch our head, our shoulders, our knees, and our toes. Except we're going to insert our season words. Spring, summer, fall, and winter. Spring, summer, fall, and winter. These are the seasons of the year. Spring, summer, fall, and winter. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right.
right, Amy, can you take the arrow and point it toward the season that we are in? And what season is that? Spring. All right, good job. All right, do you want to get a new wand or a different wand? Pick a new one. Oh, she's going to pick a new one. We're going to say hi to Amelia. And now we're going to count by tens. I can count by tens. Ready now, let's go. Whoops, I forgot to circle that word. That's one of our new sight words. I can count by tens. Here I go. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Good job. All right, now we're going to do the vowels. I wonder if I can trick Amy. Hmm, she might not be as smart as my friends. We're going to say hi to Grayson. And Amy, can you point to the vowel that makes a... Yes, the O. O makes a, a, a. All right, do you know which vowel makes a a, a, a? Right. How about an i, i, i? Good. Oh, I have two more chances to fool her. Which vowel makes a ah, ah, ah? Right. Oh, darn. One more chance. All right. Which vowel makes a ah, ah, ah sound? Right. Oh, uh, maybe I'll get her next time. All right. Last job. We're going to say hi to Tristan. And I circled another sight word in here, one of the ones we learned yesterday. D-O. Do. D-O. All right, here we go. What's the weather like today? Look outside, what do you say? Is it chilly, is it warm? Is it windy, will it storm? Tristan, tell me right away, what's the weather like today? And we have so many words that are circled. The more words we learn, we're, we're going to have the whole song circled pretty soon. All right, let's take a look out the window. All right, Amy, no flag again, but I definitely see something falling from the sky. Nice warm, cold, you see clouds, you see sun. Come on back and let's see what weather words we have. Well, that's a good weather word, rainy. And windy. Did you feel the wind blowing? I did. All right. Well, those are some good weather words. All right. Well, let's keep moving along. I have a story to read you. And it is called, Where's Peter Rabbit? And this story is written by Beatrix Potter. This is a famous story. Beatrix Potter is the author. The author writes the words. The author writes the words. What does the author do? The author writes the words. All right. Now this is a lift the flat book. Oh boy. Once upon a time, there were four little rabbits and their names were Flopsy Mop. Cottontail and Peter. They live with their mother in a sandbank underneath the root of a tree. So here's the tree and here's the ground and the rabbits live underneath the tree. Let's take a look and see. There they are. Flopsy, Mopsy, Cottontail and Peter is the one with the blue coat. He's got three sisters. Do you have any sisters or brothers? Now, my dear, said old Mrs. Rabbit one morning, you may go into the fields or down the lane, but don't go into Mr. McGregor's garden. Flopsy, Mopsy, and Cottontail, who were good little bunnies, went down the lane to gather blackberries. Mrs. Rabbit took a basket and her umbrella and went through the wood to the baker's. So here are the good little rabbits, but where is Peter? Let's see what's in the basket. Ooh, stuff 
from the bakers. Let's find out what Peter Rabbit was up to. But Peter, who was very naughty, ran straight away. Do you know where he went? To Mr. McGregor's garden and just did what his mom told him not to do. He squeezed under the gate. First, he ate some lettuce and some French beans, and then he ate some radishes. And then, feeling rather sick, he went round a cucumber frame to look for some parsley. Hmm, I wonder what's behind this flap. <gasps> Uh-oh, it's Mr. McGregor. I hope he doesn't see Peter. Unfortunately, he ran right into a gooseberry net and got caught by the large buttons of his jacket. Mr. McGregor came up with a sieve, which he intended to pop over Peter. So there's the sieve. Let's see if he gets some. Oh no, oh no. Oh. Looks like he's getting away, but uh-oh. His coat got stuck. Peter wriggled out just in time. Leaving his jacket behind, he rushed to the tool shed where Mr. McGregor kept his flower pots and watering can. Oh, let's see what's underneath this one. I see a flap. Oh boy. Oh, do you know what that is? Looks like an itty bitty snail. I wonder if who's in here. There's Peter Rabbit. Oh, I hope Mr. McGregor doesn't find him. Suddenly, quite close to him, Peter heard the noise of a hoe. Scratch, 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 scratch. It was the sound of Mr. McGregor hoeing onions. And beyond him, at the end of the black currant bushes, was the gate. That's the, where he needs to go to to get out. Let's see. Oh, there he is. <gasps> Looks like he might make it. Oh no, he skipped a page. Peter slipped under the gate and was safe at last in the wood outside the garden. He never stopped running or looked behind him till he got home. That evening, Peter did not feel very well. His mother put him to bed and gave him a dose of chamomile tea. So he got sick because he was in that watering can and he ate too much food. Oh no, now he's sick. We should always listen to our mom or our dad. But Flopsy, Mopsy, Cottontail had bread and milk and blackberries for supper. Well, I'm sure Peter Rabbit learned his lesson that he should listen because his mom knew that that Mr. McGregor would want to catch him and put him in a pie and eat him up. Oh dear. All right, well today we are gonna be making a Peter Rabbit of our own. So, Mrs. Hamilton traced this for you for the kids in my class. But if you don't have my paper, you could probably try and make a bunny or look online and, and trace one. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is write our name. But Mrs. Hamilton was thinking, uh-oh, I hope the boys and girls remember that they're supposed to hold their pencil with three fingers down at the bottom, right at the bottom. When, when you're writing your name, you shouldn't be up here, down at the bottom. And Mrs. Hamilton has these special toppers. You can buy them. You can buy them on Amazon and it helps you put your fingers in the right place. So your thumb goes in here, your other finger goes here, and then your third one rests. So this is the way you should be gripping your pencil. Make sure you're all doing that the right way. All right, so Mrs. Hamilton's gonna write her name now that I'm holding my pencil the right way. Because now that we haven't been in school, you might forget and how you're supposed to be holding your pencil. Oh boy, and now that I'm writing my name, I can see that this might be a little tricky to cut out. But we've been bus busy cutters lately. So, remember, our thumb is up when we cut. 
and we are going to turn the paper, not the scissors. So here goes Mrs. Hamilton. I'm cutting, I'm cutting, and I'm turning the paper. I'm cutting, I'm cutting. Oh boy, this is very tricky. This might be the hardest thing we've ever cut out. Oh gosh, I'm turning the paper. Don't try and turn the scissors, it's too hard. Just turn the paper. Look, my, my scissors are facing the same way. I'm just turning the paper. Oh boy, this is tricky though. Brown. I'm going to keep turning my paper. Look, i got to shift my hand. If you're having trouble, it's okay. Just take a deep breath. You can do it. Turn the paper. Turn the paper. Oh, we're halfway there. Oh, I can't wait to see. So make sure you send me these pictures because I don't know if you guys can cut this well. This bunny shape with the two ears. Oh, my gosh. Here I go, I'm turning the paper, I'm turning the paper, I'm turning the paper. I'm trying to get done. Here I go, I'm turning, I'm turning the paper. Oh, I think I'm almost done. Yay! Oh, that was hard work. So the name is going to go on the back because we have to add some things. So, I have two little white dots for the eyes. So let's start with the eyes. Make sure I'm pushing, pushing so I see the glue. And then with a black crayon marker, you can make your eyes. And I've been seeing lots of the kids work. You guys are doing a good job. All right, now I'm gonna add the pink ears. Whoa. So I'm going to put a little glue here and a little glue here. Stick my ears on. These are the inner ears. Oh dear. Oh, I thought I lost it, but I have it. I got the nose. And this. This is tricky. You have to figure it out. It's like a puzzle. Because that wouldn't be right. These are the sleeves. This is Peter Rabbit's coat. So get it the way you think it goes. And once you've figured it out, then you can lift it up and add some glue on this side. So his coat is kind of opened up. Oh gosh. And this side. You can see his arm is in the sleeve. And then he needs some buttons. These are the brass buttons that got caught in the trap. All right, and the last step will be now, this is how Mrs. Hamilton makes animal mouths. I make a smile, and you can leave it that way if you want. Or you can draw a line to the smile. And that gets you a Peter Rabbit. And you can add whiskers if you want. One, two, three. One, two, three. And that looks like a pretty cute Peter Rabbit. Very nice. All right. Well, also, because it's raining, this is a good day to think about water. W-A-T-E-R. Water. Water falling down the mountains and sprouting from fountains, splashing in puddles, squishing in muddles. A swoosh, a whoosh, a gush. Water dripped from sinks and swallowed in drinks, scattered in rains, splattered on paint. A sprinkle, a shower, a storm, water! It makes me cool or warm and wet and alive. Wow, that's a lot of uses for water. Now it's funny, water can make you cool when you're hot on a summer day. It can make you warm when you go in the bath. And it certainly can make you wet. So we are looking at this beautiful picture. It's a perfect picture of April showers, which will be coming soon. And then if you flip over the back, it says, I use water to... Thank you, God, for creating water. So in this spot, you get to draw your own picture. Anything that you use water to do. Hmm, maybe you use water with a hose. That would be a really easy thing to draw. Or maybe you drink water. So I am going to make a cup. 
This is what I'm drawing, but you can draw whatever you want. And then inside would be your water. Oh, Amy, could you get me a blue marker so I can show that there's water in my cup? So maybe you could use water to drink. Maybe you could draw a hose. Thank you, Amy. So look, to show that there's water in my cup, I'm gonna fill it up to about there. And then, if mom and dad help you, I use water to drink. So I'm gonna write the word drink. And mom would have, if you have a different word, maybe mom or dad could help you. D, D, there's that R sound. I, 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 I drink, drink. I use water to drink. Thank you, God, for creating water. Oh, there's so many things that you might want to draw on your picture. And if you don't have this paper, you could certainly draw any picture on anything that would show something that you do in the water. Like maybe go swimming. Oh my gosh, there's so many choices. And the last thing you're going to work on today is another sight word, practice sheet. So this word, do you know what this word is? Funny. Funny. So you get to color funny, read funny, make sure you're spelling your sight words funny. F-U-N-N-Y. Funny. You can do that rainbow game I taught you about yesterday. So you can go over each letter with a different color. Then you have to find all the funny words and color them in. Trace it, write it on your own, and then circle how many times you see the word funny. Count them all up and put the answer there. And then this says, oh, that's a sight word. The clown is, and this is where you would write the word funny. The clown is funny. Well, that'll be fun. I'll also put this on Mrs. Hamilton's Google site. So if you want a copy of that, you can get it there. Okay, so one more thing before we go. One of our centers that Mrs. Hamilton planned for today was this egg game. And this is probably something that you can make at home. But you, what you were gonna get to do is pick an egg, open it up, and there's a word in here. And it's a consonant, vowel, consonant word. So I'm gonna try and sound it out. M, mm, M makes M, mm, A makes A, P makes P. Map. That word is map. Let's do one more. Oh, I wonder what word is in the purple. So remember, we've been learning the sounds. T, in, t, in, tin. So if you have any of these eggs at home, maybe mom could help you write some words that are a consonant, then a vowel, then a consonant. And I'm gonna be having lots of readers in my class. That's a really good practice game that you guys can do. All right, well tomorrow we're gonna talk about something else having to do with Easter. I'm so glad you joined me and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow, okay? So I'll see you tomorrow, my friends. Bye-bye.